Well, hey there, it's Rob Schultz here. And I wanted to share with you something I stumbled on about three years ago. And it combines cutting edge technology with networking, specifically following up to going to a live event. And it pays off huge on your bottom line. No one is doing this and you're gonna love it. Now, little confession here, I suck at networking and I've always hated it. And it really has hurt my business to the tunes of tens of thousands of dollars in lost partnerships, potential clients, etc. And what I've discovered is you can't just hang out behind your computer. You can't just Facebook and tweet. You've got to get out to events. You've got to mingle. You've got to connect with your potential clients and potential JV partners. So that maybe explains why I did this once three years ago and haven't done it since. Now, when I did it three years ago, it paid off for me big time because it connected me with a powerful mastermind group that I would not have been able to connect with any other way. So this technique combines online video with follow-up to a live event. You're going to love this, especially when you see how easy it is. So let me show you behind the scenes how you can do it. Okay, so it really is a very simple four-step process. Obviously, number one, you attend a live event of some sort, and you meet people, and you make notes at the event about the people that you meet. Now, you want, this is important, because this is going to feed into your video. Uh, notes about their business, notes about what you liked about them, maybe a discussion that you had. Just take notes about all the individual people and actually write them down so you'll remember them. Number two, create a video. This is just a talking head video. This does not have music. This does not have a fancy opening. You can do it with your webcam. I'm going to show you an example of me doing one of these videos with my webcam in just a moment. So there are actually three steps to the message. And the, the actual first step to the message is you open the message with something that is generable, generable, general, but personable. There we go general but personal, personable. So you want to connect, you want to break the ice a little bit, and you want to obviously make a remark that may have make it easier for them to remember you. Obviously your face is there, but uh, just something that they can connect with you. The next step, and this is the meat of your video message, it does not have to be long, but mention something to them, specific to them, that is not that is unmistakably about them, their business, uh, something you found out about them that's admirable, something you respect about them. Maybe you visited their website and you have some amazing things to share about their business, but specific to them and memorable. And finally, the the final step of the video is a close or call to action. What would be your ideal outcome with this person? Do you think you could help them as a client? Are you interested with them as a joint venture partner? Uh, if you're not really clear, you could say something like, I really see some possibilities for us to assist each other. I'd love to stay in touch with you. Try and get something that is specific. I'd love to mastermind with you. I'd like to follow up and find out about more about your business. Just don't close with something generic. So it's really simple. And what I'd like to do now is I'd like to show you an example of how this will look. Now, the first time I did this, I attended an event three years ago. And what I did is I actually made notes on literally about 35 to 40 people at that event. After the event, and this was literally using the webcam that was in my uh, two-year-old laptop computer. It wasn't fancy. And I literally used this formula to create about 40 about a minute and a half to two minutes, they can be really short video messages to each of these people. And again, it took me like two and a half hours because I just did one, boom. I did another one, boom. I did another one, boom. You get into a rhythm and you can knock these out. So what I'd like to do now is give you a very brief example of what one of these might look like. Now, another little tip. If you have a business card, you may want to, obviously they see your face so they remember it. But my business card is very memorable. This is another reason why it's good to have memorable business cards. I'll show you a little picture of it here. I don't know if you can see that really well in the webcam, but it has three Basset Hound puppies. Now, uh, the example I'm going to do for you here is I'm going to give you something that is pretty close to an actual video that I did 
And this is actually the way I met Donna Kozik of uh, Write a Book in a Weekend and MyBigBusinessCard.com. Hopefully Donna won't mind me giving her a lot of free publicity here. But I'm going to give you basically something that was very close to the message that I gave Donna. And this was an actual video I made and sent the link to that Donna could go look at. So it went something like this. Hey Donna, it's Rob Schultz here, and wow, I'm just kind of getting back into the swing of things from being at the event over the weekend. You know, you get back and it's crazy, trying to catch up with email. Um, you might remember me, I had the little Basset Hounds on the business card. Uh, I was a magical multimedia tour, did video. We kind of spoke about using possibly video in your business. And I just wanted to say I love the fact, I, I love people who really differentiate themselves. And I remember the, the thing that's really, uh, that I really remember about you is, you know, the name of your business is My Big Business Card because you teach people to write. And so it wouldn't very much make sense for you to have a little business card like this. So your business card was a big business card. And <laughs> smart, very smart. So I really enjoyed meeting you. Um, you really seem down to earth. I think there's huge potential in your business. People really do want to learn how to write your books. Now, uh, I'd love to follow up with you to see if we can help each other out in some way. Uh, I'd love to follow up and maybe chat sometime later this week, next week. Um, I'll be dropping you an email to see if we can arrange that time. Again, really enjoyed meeting you, uh, and I look forward to talking to you quite a bit in the future. So you see, very simple. You don't have to edit it. I, there were a couple mistakes I made. I kind of paused. I had a little <coughs> brain leak. It's like, oh, I forgot, didn't know what I was going to say. It's okay. Just be professional. Just be personable. And see, when you create a lot of these, you can go, boom, knock one out. I could you know, pick up, look at my notes, and say, okay, this one is for Dawn. Now, what I'm going to say to Dawn is different than Donna, and that's the magic of this technique. You're not just doing the same script for every pe person. You're doing a very similar opening for every person. The middle, that big chunk in the middle is completely different, and the call to action may be different for every single person. And then, of course, once you have your video recorded, one final step, upload to YouTube. Now, uh, log into your YouTube account. Come right up here to the top where it says Upload. Click the Upload button. Come over here to the Upload Video button. Click that and <laughs> sharks navigate to the video you want to upload click on it open it up and it'll start to upload now this video you're going to make private so you don't have to spend a lot of time on tags and description so I'm going to pause the video and just add a quick title description and a tag because YouTube requires me to do that and then we'll cover the one really crucial step you have to do with YouTube to make this work Okay, so I've entered a title here and a description and a tag, not because it's important, but because YouTube requires me to do that. Now, uh, this video is going to take a while to upload, but there's one thing I really want to call your attention to because it's crucial. Right here where it says privacy, what you want to do is you want to click this middle option, uh, unlisted, anyone with a link can view. So I'm going to click that. And what this allows me to do is when this video is finished uploading, YouTube will give me what's called a private link. And what that means is the video is not visible. It's not listed on YouTube. You can't find it in the search engines. But YouTube will give you a link that you can copy and send to the people you want to connect with to view the video. So I have all this entered. I'm going to click Save Changes. And... I'm going to pause the video because we have to wait for the video to finish uploading to get that special link. Okay, now the video has finished uh, uploading and processing. And if you'll notice right here on that same upload page, it now says your video will be live in a moment at this link. Now the one thing you want to do is you want to copy this link here because this is what you will send to uh, this is the link you'll send to the people that you met at your live event or networking event and of course if we if we actually uh, click on the link here 
will actually be taken here's the page and there's the video itself and if you'll notice right down here it says this video is unlisted only those with this link can see it and if by any chance you lose the link or forget to copy it if you come over here uh, in the upper right hand corner click on your username go to my videos and here's here's the video right here and you click on this edit button and if you scroll down one screen right here they have also listed the link so once again you can copy and paste it into your email so once again I knocked out about 40 of these in a two to three hour period and then I just created them and uploaded them now this looks really simple and you're saying well if I just do a two minute video why is that going to make me memorable let me ask you this question how many video follow-up messages have you received like this from networking events that you've been to gotta be honest I've been to a lot of live events and maybe I'm just unremarkable oh no I haven't received any of any zero I'm the only one I know who has done this to that degree and of course I'm stupid I should have done it more but I didn't well you know you live and learn but you don't be stupid simple video talking head two to three minutes take notes at the live event the videos are all similar with a distinctive chunk in the middle upload to YouTube this is powerful guys especially if you're like me and you're uncomfortable with networking and you may not be smooth like all those people you see walking around the networking events and shaking hands it's a way you can make an impression it's a way you can distinguish yourself as being different it's a way you can position yourself as someone who does things totally different than everyone else very professional that you're ambitious that you can help them and you're looking for ways that they can help you so give this a shot and if you start doing this or if you've done it in the past or if you see the possibilities that this opens for you leave a comment below the video powerful technique and if I meet you at an event I'm looking forward to getting your private video message afterwards mm -hmm.